you decided to make a 3D model in plasticity. That means you have some references, you want to do a vehicle, for example, and you search on uh, internet, you find some good uh, pictures, details, and things like that. So, in order to have a good model, at the minimum, you need to have some good references too. So, ideal would be a side view, a back view, a front view, top to down view. I mean, it would be something which uh, it gives you a lot of uh, information for what you want to build. You know, that, that helps you have a sense of hey, how the model will, uh, will look like, you know. And the, the other thing which I want to mention, uh, with plasticity, even if you have some basic uh, coloring uh, um, for the objects, the, they are, you, you don't really have textures, so you can just put some colors for uh, different objects uh, with the materials, which I just show right now. But uh, plasticity do not have a UV mapping, so whatever you can do here is basically the 3D model itself and still you need to use another pro uh, software like Blender for example to do the UV mapping and if you want to texture it yeah you can do it in Blender or on other uh, game engines or whatever you, you have uh, quicker mixer whatever you you prefer all right so how uh, you're gonna use the references for something like this so let's uh, let's show how uh, you can control command n or pay here a new model and that is gonna give you the main uh, starting point for plasticity which is something like this so you can import uh, your references as documents you just go on this site here import document and it could be a picture in my case i have for this vehicle, uh, I have an image which I find it online, um, and you just import it, and here it is. It's it's already placed it in. As you can see, uh, this was placed on the X Y uh, plane, and it's basically the top view. This image has got also a reference. So as a dimension. Uh, Plasticity is using one unit as 10 centimeters, which is uh, equivalent like four inches. So if you are on metric system, uh, you can use the units in feet if you want and scale it at the end to the right proportion. That means there are different ways to do it, but well, if, or you can use the picture as is, as I will do right now. So, but you you can scale it to the right uh, dimension. Basically, you draw a line or whatever dimension you have, and you use the reference here. And after that, you adjust the picture with scale. You just click on S, and you can scale it. Or if you want to do alignment of the picture, you can just click on G, which means move. Actually, G could be grab and grab and move that picture around whatever you want and uh, if you want to rotate it you just click on R and again you can rotate it. Alright the picture itself after it is uh, inserted uh, will appear here in a folder called empties uh, which is basically gathering all the uh, picture references. Uh, the other ones will be the solids when you create solids and uh, curves when you have uh, different uh, referential lines and arches and uh, circles when you want to draw uh, references basically. So uh, with the picture selected uh, you can click on M which stands from material and you can uh, have some basic uh, adjustments of that picture. What I prefer is to put that in opacity by default it's coming at 50% or 0.5 uh, I prefer actually to have it really low, so I prefer 0.1, which is 10%, and click OK, or the right click is the same thing, and you have that picture set up on the XY plane. Now, if you want to use the same picture as I have here, and you want to have the reference from the side, 
you can just duplicate that picture with shift B and as you can see it creates a new one here and you can click and also have different names you can say this is the top for example if you want so we can say this is top top for example and this one could be the side here so you can say it's a side and enter so it, it keeps the uh, the information so with this picture selected which is this one here I can click again on M and I can give them the opacity which I want it as 10% and we can even modify this by clicking let's say R I want to rotate it so I select the side and I want to rotate it click on R and after that I can choose on which direction, on this one here, on the, the red one and I can even put uh, an angle, so basically you can just say 90 degree like this and you can type on, uh, on the keyboard 90 and enter. Now the good part is this was already aligned, so that means the, the front of the uh, vehicle match on, on the side view it matched the front of the vehicle on the top view so okay here and as I said they are uh, aligned but they are not to the same height so I just want to bring this image down so again I will click on G I want to concentrate it on the Z axis so I'll click on Z and it's gonna move only from top down and you know you find the place where you want to have the base for the wheels and click OK. So that's how uh, how basically you add your 